right, everybody. How's Gabby today? Good. No. Gabby, not no, no, what, what, what? <laughs> and we got Glory. <laughs> and we got ah, We got half of Jason. What? We got half of Jason. And we 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 got a we got a we got a we got a we got the head of Benicia. Not 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 Oliver, just your head. Oh no, there's some shoulders. I see some shoulders. And I see a purple sofa. Hmm. That's yellow. Purple. Are you blind? Hello. And you and you you have a yellow shirt. What are you talking about? No, it's gray. It was green. Gray. 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 gray? <laughs> Hello, little brother. Oh my god, it's uh Emmanuel. You guys are wearing the same t-shirt again? Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Rafael. You guys hear me? Yeah. I don't hear you, Gabby. Oh, I hear you, Gabby. Alien, how are you today? Mm, fine. Fine? Are you fine? Hmm. Do you like Glory's new yellow shirt? Well. <laughs> and no. Benicia's it's got her old. Yellow. No, it's her, white. She's got her old purple sofa back. No, it's white. Oh, no, white it's is for, it? No, it's yellow. <laughs> it's blue. It's yellow. white. Yellow sofa. Dudley, what's the dog doing behind you? Oh, he's saying hi. The dog's saying hello to everybody. Is that Toby? I what's have his a dog. Name? What's his name? It's a raccoon name. The dog's name Raccoon? Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, do you have a dog? I've had many dogs. I love dogs, but I don't have any dogs in Asia. I'm too scared. It's hard to take care of them here, and it's way too complicated. It's hard to fly them back home if I go home. So, no. We were supposed to have Cheese join us tonight, but he had a big October Oktoberfest party at his school, so he's not going to join us tonight. Mid-autumn. Mid-autumn. Mid mid-autumn, right. What did I say? Mid-autumn, mid-October. Okay, mid-October is the oh. German holiday. In Europe, they have mid-October festival. But in Vietnam, they have mid-autumn festival, I guess, which is a holiday here. And so cheese is not going to join us tonight. Sorry, it's just not holiday. It's just like a, the full moon day and then usually it's supposed to be for children. Ah, okay. All right. But you guys are here, so that's okay. We'll get started yeah. without cheese. Cheese will try next week. All right, so we got Dudley, we got Jason, we got Alien, we got Gabby, we got Benicia, we got Glory, we got a full house. Woo but no live stream on YouTube because I blew a driver or something happened, but now I got to figure out how to fix it. Ah, so I'm going to have to edit this video again tonight, too. Ah, more work. Ah, anybody want a job? No. No, never. No. Never. no. That's no, but it's good experience. Jason, you. you want a job, yeah? I got a job for you. No. Yeah. Alien, alien, my man, my my intergalactic technician coder programmer. Yeah. Um, Gabby. What's the job? job? Uh, you can edit videos for YouTube. YouTube editor. But I don't have PC. I only edit on mobile. But you have to learn. You have to learn. What the world, Gabby? Okay, I'm I don't know edit on PC. I only edit why, why are we looking at your keyboard? And your pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to start Intro 12? You no. all have your new book? No. 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 I'm going to lose again. I'm not going to drink it. <laughs> you don't want a job and you don't want to start class. <laughs> I just want to stay. I really want to sleep tomorrow. I have to. No sleeping. Allowed. Aww. 
Wait, let's almost leave for now. <laughs> Here. Twelve. B or A two now. This is an A two book now. So we're going up a level. Woo. All right, let's get started. Let's see who's going to win now. So aliens won back to back. Will he win three in a row? Oh my god! Patrick. I don't know. Oh my god! This is dangerous. I'm going to try. <laughs> of course. Gotta have some fun. And the fun is not gonna. Da -da -dun 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 -dun. And this food. one, street food, yeah. Now, the thing about this this book is that I called it earthquake. All the different topics I picked picked up, but um, we actually don't talk about earthquakes and tectonic plates until lesson nine, because I couldn't find any similarities. Lesson one is about street food. Lesson two is about the latest technology and computers. Lesson three is about math, math, and then healthy bodies is four, five is in Scotland, six is famous people in Britain, and then seven is strange stories, ghosts, and, and boogeymans, and all kinds of crazy things, and then six, er, eight is about animals, and then nine is about volcanoes and tectonic plates and, and all that kind of stuff. So there wasn't anything that I could generalize the, the cover of the book. So I just picked the most interesting, I thought most interesting story. So I said, earthquakes, what the heck? <laughs> everywhere, right? We had an earthquake here in Da Nang the other day. I felt my room shake. I didn't <laughs> felt anything. But you're in Jakarta. Well, how could you feel an earthquake in Vietnam? Oh my God! But you guys have an earthquake in Vietnam, uh, Indonesia, if I remember correctly. Yeah. You have like, I don't know how many it is. It's like ten earthquakes every hour or something like that. I only remember one last earthquake. I was sleeping, and then my mom saw me moving, but I was still sleeping. And then when my mom see, and um, it was an earthquake. So when I was sleeping, I was carried by my mom down. <laughs> yeah, you got to get outside of the building if you can. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about that in lesson nine. But Viet or Indonesia has earthquake. I don't remember how many, but it's a lot every day. But it's just they're not all big earthquakes, you know, like they're little tiny ones. Most of them you don't even feel. You can only pick it up with the seismic instruments. But anyhow. Yeah, Vietnam. We had it. We had a few here. Vietnam is not known for earthquakes, I don't think. Landslides, yeah, but that's from the rain. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what happens. You ready, Gabby? Gabby, Rabby, are you ready? <laughs> Quiet today. Hmm. Unusual. Street food. You like street food? Let's yeah. ask a question here first. What's your favorite street food, Alien? Hmm. Anything. Anything in street food? Many, many things. Many, many, many. What's your favorite street food? Nazi Gorang? No. <laughs> no, me neither. I don't like that that much. <laughs> mm, I everything. <laughs> I always and, eat everything. I eat fruit, I eat vegetables, and I always eat meat. So you like a lot of the street food. Street food is really popular. It's, and I many mean, times it's quite fresh. I like, the most that I like is burgers. Is what? Burgers. Burgers. Real burgers or chicken nugget burgers? Real burgers, of course. Yeah, I never had a real burger in Jakarta. They were fake patties. Gabby, what's your favorite street food? Do you ever eat street food? What is it? Barbecue. Ah, barbecue street food. The Philippines is really well known for their barbecues. Barbecue restaurants everywhere. Yeah. What about you, Glory? What's your favorite street food? And what are you eating now? I'm going to delete you. What's your favorite street food, Glory? Um, anything. Everybody, just anything, 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 anything. What if they do rat tail soup? You're going to eat that too? Rat tail, rat -tail soup no. with fresh eyeballs? No. No? That's gross. No. How do you know? You never tried it. 
I already heard it and that feels gross. That's all. Lori, no eating in the classroom. Eat before class or at break time. Jason, what's your favorite street food? Chicken nugget. Um, he is a chicken nugget. Potato. Oh, yes. <laughs> Deep fried potatoes? Potato. Yes. <laughs> what about the raccoon? What's your favorite street food? Ice cream. What is it? Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. We used to sell these at Cowboys for breakfast. Uh, tacos. Yeah, say it again. I think Dudley. Dudley. Uh, there's a, I, don't, I can't understand what you're saying, Dudley. Someone said it. I heard it. I said omelet. Who said omelet? Dudley. Dudley said omelet. Okay, yeah. Omelet it is. Oh. Is that what you said, Dudley? Don't lie. I think I like the you said pal. Yeah, he didn't say omelet. I thought he said omelet too, but it wasn't omelet. Yeah. Who said it? No. Well, we're not going to find out now. I, I think what Dudley, I still don't know what Dudley said, but it sounds like omelet, but that's not what you said, right? Type what you said in the chat box. What's with the noise in the background? Where's that all coming from here? That you're oh Dudley's again. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go study in your bedroom. I'm in the living room. No, Dudley. Dudley studies right in the living room in front of the TV, and his whole family is everywhere. So sometimes it gets really noisy. Okay, so no points for anybody. Omelets. Yeah, omelets are great. They're easy to make. Um, no, and you can make so many kinds. Uh, we we have omelet. Oh, uh, what? Well, yeah, cheese is really popular in omelets. But you just you, you mix up the eggs. Usually it's good with a little bit of milk to make it fluffier. Maybe a little herbs and spice, salt and pepper, of course. And we had like a, we had bacon omelets and ham omelets with cheese. And we had... Um, Oh, uh, what was it? We had an Italian omelet with sausages, and then you can have vegetable omelets. Yeah, you can do anything you want with it. It's really, really great. It's so easy to make. I love omelet. Mm, yeah, it's a great breakfast. And if you throw a few vegetables in there with some tomatoes and stuff, then you can make it really healthy. I don't like tomatoes. Yeah, but you just you mix them up with the other food, and then you don't notice the tomatoes. Sorry. But they're good for you. They won't kill you. It tastes horrible. <laughs> my brother used to eat tomatoes raw just like apples he used to just my, like my, that. Dad, my in my family there's only one one of them that only eat tomatoes that's only my dad and the rest don't want to eat tomatoes only your dad eats tomatoes yeah uh -huh. I do not eat it my mom do not eat it and my little brother also not they don't eat them they don't. She, he doesn't, or they don't. Yeah. Remember he, she, it, verb plus. Yeah, I know. Ah, well, you didn't say it. <laughs> I've heard that. All right. Yeah, omelets are excellent, but really good with cheese. Any kind of cheese, mozzarella, cheddar. All right, so no point on that one. Now, some of these words, I don't, don't even know them, but they're in our reading because we're going to talk about different street foods and I don't know, Thailand and India and yeah. South America and Europe. So some of them I've never even heard of. So I don't know if you'll know them either. <laughs> These are little breads. And they're not even, uh, it's not a video. I only had some pictures. Got them from Free Pick. Free Pick, you can get Red some. Cake. Well, you see these little breads? It's only, Red it's, really it's, chicken. it's, it's, no, it, it's just flour. Um, flour? What is it? There's only three things. Flour, water, and salt, I think. I, I can't remember what the three ingredients are. But they deep fry these little balls somehow. And then they stuff it with the onions and cheese and rice. Air or piss. I don't know. Whatever they... What are they? No, that's not it. Air piss? No. I think it's Breath. pronounced arepa. Arepas, Breath. I think. But no, it's not arepas. It's in your book, though. I am looking at my book. Oh, it's made with yogurt, too. But I guess they just deep fry these somehow. 
and it makes these crusty little breads, and then you just stuff them. And we're gonna read. You mean, about that. You mean it makes of um, flour and water and yogurt? Yeah. Yeah. It can be with with yogurt or what they say water or yogurt. Flour, water, yogurt. No saying. What is it? Before, yes, it does. Hurry! Right, babe. Anybody know what it is? Hurry! Hurry! Puri! Puri! Yes, Gabby. What, Gabby? Never mind. <laughs> you finally get my attention, and I say yes, Gabby, and then you say never mind. Unbelievable. Yeah. Gabby, when, when you, I know you have really, really good vocabulary. When you're going to say the word, you really have to lean forward and talk into your microphone because I, I can barely hear you even when we have a test. So with the classroom and, of course, with everybody talking, 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 it's very difficult to hear you, Gabby. So you really have to, you have to yell your answer. <laughs> Top of your lungs. Oops, there we go. Puri. I, I think that's how you... It's an Indian dry bread. So did I got a point? Yep, you got a point. You found the word first. Yes. Puri. 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 I, I found it in a book. Yeah, exactly. Before it's the recipes. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. Or Google. But I no. read it all. Yeah, you should. You guys should always just read the story before class. It only takes five minutes. And then that way, some of the words will come to you really fast. Okay, let's go to the next one. And it's, it's not a hot dog. Alien. Sausage. A sausages. Plural. One sausage, two sausages. They are very tasty. Mm -hmm. Now you can. You can have some really horrible processed ones. I've bought some that are just like, I yeah. won't die. But you can get some really good deli ones that, you know, have been handmade, not factory made. And my God, they're so good. The, the Germans and the Dutch and them, they're, they're famous for making amazing sausages. Pepper? Yes. Like when you put the street food in your vocabulary thing. What about the street food? When I read it, it almost made me hungry. <laughs> the pictures are almost making you hungry? No, the stuff. When I read it, it almost made me hungry with that grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. When you read it. It almost uh, made me hungry. You have to, you have to this, this video, Gabby, and beneath all of you, this video, there are some really nice foods. What? And, and I, it's all about food and street food. And I'm going to be so, I should have ate before this class because I'm going to be so hungry after this video. Oh, oh no. Boy. Oh, yes. There's, oh, there's no. well, you know, some I of my favorite. No, I'm gonna be hungry. Oh yeah, those sausages look some good. <laughs> Don't talk All about right. sausages. So, All right, there go the sausage. The next one is going to be. I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> <laughs> A Spanish Ew. dish consisting of rice cooked with vegetables, fish, or chicken, or shrimp. Uh, yeah, and it looks like a jambalaya. Uh, uh. <laughs> what alien? Fried rice. I, I think you can make it with rice. The jambalayas you can make it with rice. Oh, that one's made with rice up there. It's got the chicken, and I don't even know what's noodle. in there. I, Soup? Noodles? No, it's not noodles. Creepers. Uh, um, Creepers. That's with a P. It's in the story. Mm, story? It's in the story. Uh, is it in the story? Let's see. <laughs> no, it's not in the story, but it's in the book. Mm. 
It's on page 71. Yeah, that reminds me of a jambalaya, but this is uh this food comes from oh, it's a Spanish dish, but I think they I think it's popular in, in South America. I think, I think, I think, I think. Five. Yaki sopa. Wah 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 wah. <laughs> oh, I must say that wrong. Three. Delicious. I'm sure it's good. <laughs> noodles, <laughs> not noodles. Two. Like noodles with. I can't read it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Deadly. Yeah. 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 Paella. 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 <laughs> Where is it? It's in exercise five. Huh? Exercise five. Paella. Oh, it's called pa paella. Pa 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 paella. 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 Yeah, oh, paella. There's like a y, like, like a y in there. Paella. Pa oh, the deep a. Pa paella. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I've never had this one before. But again, it's in our story. So, talking about different foods. Does that look good? Yes. Yeah, yeah, very you, good. If you like shrimp, that looks really tasty. Shrimp, and it's got lots of fresh lemons on it, too, on the side. It like looks like all kinds shrimp. of herbs and spices. But I can't eat shrimps. I am, I am allergic to seafood. Allergic to seafood, yeah. Some people are. I am one of them. Mm. But I love seafood, so I can only eat tiny bits. So Dudley got that. So what did I who got sausage? Alien. So, so who got oh yeah, nobody got omelet. That's why we only have three points. Okay, 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 okay. All right, this is not a name of a food, but it's Alex. what we do before we eat it. Vegetable. When you cut it all Ingredients. off. Ingredients. Slice. What do you do with the food before you eat it? Ingredients. What is it, Gabby? Tomato. Prepare. Bake. Uh, let Gabby say something. I can't hear. Bake. You bake your clothes in the in the suitcase. To make? No, prepare. not make. Prepare. Who said prepare? Me. Who's me? Jason. 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 Well, you talk, but we don't see your face, so we don't know who's talking. Jason. Jason, you said prepare. Gabby, you said prepare. Gabby, are you? I'm are going. You? Crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, raise your hand. Who said prepare? Who said it first? Because I can't hear Gabby. you, Gabby. Jason. Gabby. Gabby already said it first, but nobody can hear her. Nobody can hear Jason her. Jason said it. It's so and noisy. Jason said it. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Gabby will get the point this time because she did say a few things, but I couldn't hear what she was saying. Prepare to prepare the food, right? Because that's what we have to do first. First, we have to cut it up, sort it out, get everything ready, and then prepare. then we can start cooking it. Yeah, you don't start cooking everything without preparing everything first, unless you want to make a mess. Prepare. Okay. Now this one is from. Oh no! Better look for book. This is famous in Colombia. Colombia. I don't find it. Alien. That's the one you said earlier. Arepa. 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 That's, that's the bread. That's the bread that they make. I think arepas are bread. They said it before. Bread cake. What's that? It, it's bread cake? Yeah, these breads that they make. They're, well, they're, it's called yeah. bread cake. That's what it says here. A kind of bread no. cake. A lovely often, kind of bread cake. Often uh, made with cheese. Oh, my yeah. God. 
Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, well, well, this is well, freshly good. But this looks good too with all the mixed meat or something inside. That looks good. This one, I don't know what that is. I thought it was taco. I don't know. They're not. It's like it's it's bread, but they it looks like they don't cut one side, so it's kind of like a mouse. <laughs> it looks like that way. But that's what they are here. Yeah. Okay. Arepas. I've heard of that before, but I don't think I've ever had one. On and yeah, South America is really big on on avocados too. They make the guacamole sauce really Mexico. good. Yeah, Mexico and Venezuela, Colombia. All the down well, see, Mexico is still part of North America, but then under that, then you go into South America. And Central America would have probably have a lot of the same foods too. All Nicaragua and Panama, all those little places. Okay. Now all of this has been very delicious looking. What about not so delicious? Uh, Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Um, horrible. Horrible is the word we're looking for. Sorry, Dudley. <laughs> what? Horrible was the word we're looking for. But it's the same thing. Terrible. This is terrible. This is horrible. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, I hate those those adjectives because you know there's so many words you could use. Awful, terrible, horrible, disgusting, interchangeable. Yeah. So two for Alien, two for Benicia, Gabby and Dudley, one each. Jason and Glory, what's going on? Where is Jason? You hiding again eating fried chicken? Jason's eating fried chicken again. He's not even here. Oh, he just, he, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Jason? Nothing. Nothing. You're, you're doing something. No, I saw I'm you not. jump back into your chair like a kangaroo. <laughs> Jason the kangaroo. Hmm. Come on, Glory, you can do it. I'm thinking. Imagining. Imagining. Banisha. Banisha. Why are you saying? Why are you singing Minion song? It's a famous song. It was. It was. It, I don't know who sang it. Was that the Beach Boys? Ba 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 I don't remember. I think it was the Beach Boys. That's an old old song. Before my time. So the Minions stole it too. <laughs> if they were singing it. They always sing it. Dad, is that your little brother, Dudley? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should let him go play with a raccoon. Imagine that. Imagine this. Imagine we had some food right now. Because I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm imagining that I'm eating a pizza. And that's oh. making me hungry again. Pepperoni and cheese. Ooh, baby. Uh, this one is very popular in Canada for sure. We had I, I, I used to eat quite a few of these for breakfast. Donut. Donut. No, it's a bread. It's not a donut. It looks like a donut, but it's a bread. It starts with a pancake now. It starts with a B. <laughs> bread, yeah, but it's another word. Only five letters. Uh, but, but not bread. It's really popular with salmon and capers and bologna. red onions. Bologna is a meat. It's like a hot dog. It's a processed meat, bologna. Where's daddy, Gappy? Gappy? Bingo, yeah. Say it again, Benicia. Bagel. Yeah, it's a bagel. It's almost it's also, like a donut. It, it does look like a donut. Very yeah, much like a donut. Really it's, a it's a harder bread, but it has a hole in the middle. Yeah, and they call these bagels. Mm, they do look like donuts, but they're not donuts. Donuts are um, fluffy and soft and sugary. They look yummy. They are. If they're homemade... Very good, 
I wish it was free so you can just get it. Well, it's a type of bread. I don't know how to describe it. It, it seems like it's thicker than a loaf of bread. It's not mushy. It's harder. But it's really, really good. It's really good with salmon and cream cheese. And that's see the, the one in the middle here, the pink, that's salmon fish. And then they have uh, these little these little green things are called capers. And they're kind of salty. Kiwis. But they're really, really good. And then the white underneath is cream cheese. And that's really good, too. Yeah, I, I haven't had good food like this in a long time. I miss it so much. <laughs> bagel. And there's what else is called a bagel? Can you think of something else that's called a bagel? Donut. donut. No. No, not a donut. Bagel. It's an animal. Bagel is an there's animal? A, there's an animal called a bagel too. Do you know what it is? No. No. It's a dog breed. It's a type of dog. Huh? Bagels. They're really cute. Small little dogs with flappy ears. What is it? Oh. Yeah. If you look, if you look up bagels on the internet, you look, I'm sure it's bagel. I'm uh, maybe I'm wrong. Let me double check here. Okay. Bagel. 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 Is it beagle? Yes. I'm bagel. A beagle, not bagel. Yeah. Beagle. I think I think I got stuck with because. Someone had one and they called it bagel. But that's what it is. Not a beagle. It's a bagel. What is that? B E A? A bagel. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. <laughs> oh, no, it's not Gabby. It's Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. Can you continue, please? No, we cannot continue until I find the beagle. Come on. There it is. Yeah, the beagle's got big flappy ears and a pointy tail. He's really hyper and he's usually like beige and white and black and very popular dog. Popular. Very popular, yeah. He's a very popular dog. All right. Glory, come on. You got to get a vote up today or I'm going to lose my head. Chocolate. Not chocolate. Uh, honey? Uh, Not honey. Uh, oh, good. Is this in the book? No. Uh, what is it, Gabby? Chocolate. Um, chocolate. Uh, let, let, let Gabby say her word. Caramel. Caramel. Gabby's on the board. Oh, it's not chocolate? Oh, caramel. No, no this is more like a... It does can I not give look it like chocolate. Chocolate is brown, dark brown. Look how clear this is. This is caramel. Yeah, caramel is really good. I'm sure you've had caramel before. Caramel. Caramel. Oh, actually, here it says caramel, not caramel. Oh, there must be two pronunciations for caramel. There must be two pronunciations for caramel. Caramel. Huh. Let's see. Caramel, 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 caramel. Oh, okay. Let's see the British and the American here. Dum 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 dum. Caramel. 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 Huh? Caramel. 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 Yeah, they sound very similar. Okay. Caramel. See that caramel. caramel? Caramel. See, I say caramel, but it's not even right. It's caramel. Oh, no. Mull. Mull. Right. Caramel. 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 Mull. See, listen. You can hear this? Caramel. Yeah. Caramel. That's caramel. the American. Caramel. 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 You know? Yeah. And then the British. Caramel. Caramel. They actually pronounce the A a little bit more. The caramel. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's go on to the next one. This is another word for a lot of. Um. No, it's a word for a lot. River is. Uh, no. A lot. 
Well, I just said it's a lot of coal, a lot of fish. What's another word for more than enough, right? Existing and available in large quantities. Plentiful. Never is it overload? No, overload means too much. Uh, Yeah, say it, alien. (laughs) Abundant. That's the right word, but not the right word. Abundant. Yeah. Uh, Abundant. Abundant. Yeah, say that one, Dudley. Abundant. 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 Abundant means plenty, plentiful, a lot, large quantity. Yeah, Jason, fried chicken eater. What? Abundant. Abundant. Abundant, yeah. Glory, what are you doing? Abundant. Abundant. Yeah, that's a pretty big word. Did I add that word or was that already in our story? No, I put it in there. Okay. Yeah. But that's okay. It's a good word to know. We got to build up that vocabulary. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Vegetable salad. Vegetable and panadol. Salad. It's not a salad. We roll it up together. Um, what is it? Burrito. Burrito. Uh, Dudley? Burrito. Torilla. Torilla. Burrito. Yeah. Gabby, what did you say? <laughs> Yell in the microphone. Yell Tortilla. Gabby. Tortilla. Burrito. Burrito. Yeah. Burrito. I have been saying that one million times. I still don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Burrito. Very famous. Burritos. Burrito. Yeah, now it's hard. I mean, if okay, if you have burritos down in South America or Mexico, um, you know, you're gonna get really good homemade stuff and it's all chopped up nice yeah. and fresh and, yeah. and diff- different ingredients too. But I find I've ordered it a few times in different restaurants and even Mexican restaurants, and they're not sometimes they're not so good. Maybe. It really depends who's making it and what ingredients they use. But if you do it right, yeah, really, really good. Like this one sure looks some good. Ooh. And the salsa sauce on the bottom. Oh boy, that looks I don't know what that is though. What kind of vegetable or what that what those strips? I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. I don't know. It's <laughs> but it looks some good. Or have you ever eaten eat a burrito? I have, but not in Mexico. That's why I, I I can't imagine how good it would be if it was made fresh, like in its own or orig- original country. But um, but I have had some burritos in some Mexican restaurants that were re- that were really good. But I've had some in other never restaurants that were, were not good. Hmm? I what never get? tried burritos. Well, it would be hard to find a good rex- a good Mexican restaurant in Jakarta. I'm sure there are some places that sell some Mexican food, but you know, it's kind of like eating pizza I- in Asia. It's just not the same as if you had the pizza in uh, in Italy, or if you had uh, Chicago style or New York style, which is a very famous type of pizza. It's they're not even close to the same. And even the franchises are not the same. Like if you have a pizza in. Uh, one of my one of my favorite 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 pizza franchises in Canada is Pizza Hut. Ah, have Pizza yeah, Hut. Too? Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. But I've had pizza in Pizza Huts in Jakarta, and I've had pizzas in Pizza Huts in uh, in ha- Hanoi and Halong, and they're terrible, absolutely terrible. They're not even not even close to the same the dough is different the toppings are different the sauce is different the cheese is different not they're not even the same like they just have the name not the same at all yeah i I, i'm sure i would enjoy this my type of food all right we got a close one four for benicia gabby with three alien with three and deadly's got one jason get your face out of the fried chicken and get into the game Come on, I'm in the lead. 
Now, these are very popular for breakfast or a snack. What? 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 That, that, that. I can't see it. It's freezing. Oh, it's cupcakes. Muffins. 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 I got it. Pancake. Pancake. No, these, these are not cupcakes. Cupcakes are cake. Or cake. That's and, with and they ice. Have frosting on the top. Yeah, icing or frosting on the top. Okay. Love it, these like muffins. Muffins. Cookies. cookies. Yeah, well, they kind of the tops look like cookies, don't they? Pastry. Would a muffin be considered a pastry? I'm not sure. They look like cupcakes. Well, they do, but there's no frosting on these, and it's not cake. It's like it's like a bread. Muffin. Yeah, muffin. I like bread. You so got a point. The, yeah, five points. Muffins are a little healthier than cupcakes. Cupcakes is just a bunch of sugar, but they taste good. No, like muffins. Is that you, Glory? Let me try to mute. Playing the drums again on the table? Hmm. No. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to put the word up. Muffins! Okay. I, don't, I haven't had good muffins, though, like homemade style muffins that I'm used to as a kid. I've, I don't think I've ever seen any any here in, uh, in Vietnam or Indonesia. They got muffins down in the Philippines, Gabby? Don't know. I know there's a lot of bakeries. When I was in Cebu, I was amazed how many bakeries there were and how many pastry shops there were. Um, it's hard to get a good bakery now with really good healthy bread. It's tough. It's really tough. Everybody wants the sweet sugar stuff and hard to eat healthy nowadays. Okay. Muffins. Now, there's a few words for these, so I'll accept either one. What do you call them? What, Dudley? Dudley, what did you say? Car Street, Food Street, no. Gabby? Gabby? Street food, no, I'm talking about the carts, the the, 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 the things they're using. Arrow. To make the food truck. Food truck. Food truck? Uh, well, you, that's not a truck. No, I'm not going to give you that trolley. one for a food truck. Food truck's in the cover, the intro. Trolley. It's not a trolley. Uh, uh, and I'm just going to I'm not going to let you have it for a food truck because it's not a truck. What is it, Jason? What is it, Is Gloria? it on the book? Is it on the book? Go cart. Did you say... Food cart. A food oh, cart would be one you push uh, around, maybe, but I'm not going to give it for food court. No. This is when you bring it and you park it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You bring it to a location, you park it, and you set up for business. Uh, There's lots in the Philippines. What is it, Dudley? Chalet. Yeah, uh, chalet, 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 no, no, no. Is it on the book? No, it's not. Well, it's on my book, but not yours. Ouch. Aww. Aww. Did you give us that book? Did you give us that Okay. It's, it's the... oh. What, Gabby? Yeah. I have no idea. No idea. All right, so it starts with food, of course, because you're going to eat. Food uh, court. Well, food court is in a mall where you go in and uh, many, many food shops. Food card. Card? Yes. Oh. Food roller. It's also when you go to a market. Someone sets up a little shop. Maybe it's temporary, but they can tear it down and move it. A shop? Food. Well, food. Shop food. Food. What, uh, Alien? Food truck. Food truck. Oh. Jason, what is it? Jason, why we got two Jasons in here? You got a twin? What? Where? What? I don't know. Jason. I, I just deleted the black Jason. 
What is it, Glory? What do you call those little mm, that sell Nazi goreng on the street? What? What do you call those little yeah. things? Uh, those little food cart know. things. Uh, They're usually called food stands or food stalls. Oh, that's the last thing I do what? not know that. A food stand or a food stall. Yeah. Hot dog stand. Yeah, exactly. That's what they call them. Hot dog stands. Popcorn stand. Yeah, and a stall is usually something really small too. I, like I'm thinking, stall. when you go into a food court and you see all the little places that sell food, I think those are called stalls. Right, because a stall is also where in, in a stable where you put the horses and they all have a little space side by side. And it's a horse stall. And I'm guessing that's where the word came from. And people got ideas to put little shops like that. They're very, very popular, of course. Yeah, the Philippines is the one that I thought that has the most variety. A few places I've been where you walk down and there's like 20 or 30 portable food stalls all set up, stand stalls. Food, food cart is probably a very popular word to call it, too. And that one's a hot dog stand for sure. You can see the hot dogs on the pictures. Lots of food. Some countries make some really good, 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 good. Bread. Bread. What kind of bread? Thick uh, bread. Thick bread. Thick bread. Thick bread. Thick bread. Thick bread. Thick bread. Baguette. 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 What? That's a baguette. Oh, baguette. French baguette. Yes, six points for a little Benicia. <laughs> Baguettes. It's a French word. It, it, it's a French bread. That's where it came from anyway. Originally right there, it says long, thin. Usually they're the long ones. Yeah, not so, but they do I make baguette. They do have small ones too, but they usually just call that French bread. But the long ones, like in the cart that he's carrying, or that that not that cart, but what do they call that? That 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 basket or something. Carrier. Yeah, carrier. Um Vietnam is cool. Well, Vietnam has a lot of baguettes because um, the influence of the French before. It was a French colony for, for a long time. So they have that here. And when you go to the big sea here, they make these huge baguettes, these big, long baguette breads. And you can pick them up and they're still hot and take Trevor. it home and eat it for dinner. Yeah. Trevor. Yeah. Do you ever eat a baguette before? Oh, often. Often. I, every chance I can, I eat one. I've eaten hundreds of them. I always Hundred? eat the long ones because if I already always eat the long ones, um, they always make me full when I drink it with tea. I dip it with tea. You dip it in tea? Yeah. Oh, okay. I never tried that before, but then again, I don't drink tea very I often. Don't eat I drink a lot of tea, but I drink it before bed or else I can't go to sleep. Oh. I don't dip anything in tea. What's that, Glory? I don't eat anything in tea. You don't eat anything? No, he she says I don't drink anything in tea. Oh, drink anything in tea. No, I've never dipped food in tea either or coffee. I've dipped food or cookies in milk. I dip I dip the I dip a baguette in the tea and that makes me a lot full. Full, 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 full. Oh, that sounds interesting. I, I really want to start drinking more tea because I drink too much coffee. You should have so not drink coffee. You, what are you drinking? Coffee. I, I always have a cup of coffee with classes. Yeah. Oh. But I, I should drink more tea, especially in the evenings. I should start drinking. But I got to go buy some tea. That's the other thing. <laughs> don't have any tea to make. <laughs> I have water beside me. Yeah. Well, water is the best thing to drink. For sure. All right. Let's move on. Baguettes. Mm, these are really yummy, too. What? 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 Pretzels! Pretzels! Yeah, pretzels. Who said it first? Fire! I think Benicia said it first. It was the loudest for sure. <laughs> yes! Somebody else was saying it at very much at the same time. Who was Gabby. that? Gabby. Yeah, <laughs> Gabby. I think yeah. Benicia started it before you did. But, yeah. I did. but I did hear you too. Yeah, pretzels. I'm gonna win. Now again, pretzels are. Well, some are, some are, well, they're all good. 
Has any everybody had pretzels before? I, I don't. You don't see them no. in the very often. No. no. Yeah. Gabby had, had pretzel pretzels. Before. Jakarta. Yeah, Indonesia. Anybody in Vietnam have pretzels before? Dudley, Jason, no. Alien. No, I don't think so. I had to go to a, an, a Western shop to buy pretzels when I bought some here in, in Vietnam. It's not that popular. But you can get the small ones, like the big picture here. They're, they're like potato chips. You buy yeah. a bag of pretzels, and they're dry, and they're salty. They're really crunchy. They're really good. Yeah. I never tried or you can get, Or you can get the big ones that are fresh made, and you can buy them. Sometimes they make it right then. And it's really nice and hot. It's really good. You know, cinnamon on it, all kinds. Yeah, the big ones. I owe Trevor. Yeah. Which get? I uh, know which press red soul did you eat? You do you eat the small ones or do you eat the big ones? I eat the big ones. Yeah, when I was a kid, pretzels were a common snack around the house, so I had lots of pretzels growing up. <laughs> But it wasn't until I was an adult later. Um, that all of a sudden food stands opened up and started making the big pretzels. And it's like, wow, look at that. Look at the size of the pretzel. I was so surprised. So I, I it, was, it was 20 years later before I ever tried the big pretzels. Like, a like a what, Glory? Looks like a hard. Looks like, oh, well, that one looks dry and hard. Yeah, because the ones I've had were soft and easy to tear apart. This one, this one looks a little different, but I'm sure there's different kinds, um, and they probably make it different. I know, I think pretzels come from again Germany and Netherlands, Dutch and those people, um, those areas. I'm pretty sure. Um, so they might, they probably make it a little bit different too, right? They make everything different in different countries. Who's watching TV? Who's watching TV? That's Vietnamese. That's Vietnamese. Dudley. I don't know. <laughs> Where's alien? Where'd that alien go? Is he eating fried chicken too? I don't know. What do you think, Gabby? Is alien eating fried chicken? <laughs> All right, let's go to the Who's next one. Turn off my camera. Pretzel. Oops. Oh. Now you turned off the camera. I was going to delete you. Let's see, Jason. Pret, go up to that T, and then we're going to glide it down and do a zool. Pretzel. Or actually, no, it's not pretzel. It's with an S sound. Pretzel. 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 Yeah, with an L at the end. Alien. Pretzels. Pretzel. I was thinking Z because I see the Z, the Z in there, and you all, you know, it's very rare that you say pretzel unless you're buying the big ones i'll buy a pretzel because usually it's a bag of pretzels <laughs> like the big, big, big ones yeah they're like both ones. i love both dudley pretzels pretzel pretzels pretzel so so it's an s sound this z sounds like an s pretzel 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 glory pretzel pretzel Yeah, but you share one more time. Pretzel. Yeah, plural, Gabby. Pretzels. Pretzels. Yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you should eat a lot more. This Taco. is my favorite in the world. I love this. My favorite, Taco. favorite street food. Taco. Taco. No, not a taco. Yeah. Oh, tortilla. Not a tortilla. No. What? You can buy. You have. A, you have a little food stall in the malls in Jakarta that sell a lot of this there. And it's the same. The name of that little stall is the same name as this food. Burrito. No, it's not a burrito. Now there's two types here. I'll have to explain it after. A taco. They and then in Hanoi they have the big meat slabs where they cut all the meat taco. off. Make, not a taco. Tacos, tacos. A what? A daki. Kebaki. Kebaki. No. Five. Uh, Gabby, you know what it is? No. 
<laughs> I haven't seen these in the Philippines. Roasted but. corn. Roasted corn. <laughs> you, you're a roasted corn. I, I love roasted corn. corn. <laughs> Kebab? Barbecue. No, I don't Kebab? know what about. Kebab. Kebab um, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kebab. Kebab <laughs> roasted corn. <laughs> Kebab roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly? Uh, Kebab meat? Kebab meat? <laughs> Kebab meat? Kebab vegetables? I don't know. Kebab uh, salad? Donor uh, kebab. What? Donor what? kebab. Donor <laughs> kebab. Sorry. Donor kebab. Kebab. Now, there's a couple of different... This is kind of confusing because they have kebabs with... Like they're on a long skewer, like you have a long spike, oh, no. and then you put your beef or chicken or lamb and your onions and your peppers, and and then you barbecue it, and then all of it is on a big s- stick like a spike. Those are kebabs, and there's something like a shish kebab, and then there's doner kebabs like this, which is where they they shit. Now these big pieces of meat is many many different breasts of meat, right? It's there's sometimes it's mixed like pork and chicken or, or maybe even beef different slabs of meat and then it, it curls and it cooks it gets really nice they marinate it really tasty and then they shave off the edges and it creates all the nice meat at the bottom and then they put that in one of the pita breads and then you put your tomatoes and lettuce and onions and whatever else and sauces on there um so that's also a doner kebab and then where i come from we have what we just call doners and that's like this picture over here that's made it's a mixture of beef it's like all it's all minced like a like a hamburg and and then it's got all kinds of different herbs and spices in it it's got like a sweet and sour sauce and then it's cooked the same way and it's shredded down and it's so good that's like my favorite meat in the world i have the recipe but one of these days i'm going to try to make one Ever. how many more do we have we have Three more. Oh, guys, okay. I'm gonna win. Yeah, well, you've oh, already won. Seven, three. Three more. Three Yay. more to go. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna get a ten. Oh, that nine, 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 good. Nine. Good, good, good. Beer. Yeah, beer. What? That was an That's... easy one. Beer. Beer. Who yeah. <laughs> do it was root beer. <laughs> no, just beer. What's yeah, root beer? It, root beer is a soda drink. Oh. It's like a Coca Cola or a Sprite or a Seven Up. I never there, drink those. There's no, things. there's no beer in it or nothing. It's just a pop. Ever, root have beer. You ever drink like these things? Did I ever drink what? Beer. Coke. Yes. Coke. I never drink it. I don't like it. It tastes horrible. I drink it one time. <laughs> it really tastes horrible. Coca Cola, Sprite. Yeah, beer. the only time beer really tastes good is on a really hot day and you have a nice cold beer. Then it's not too yeah, bad. No, no, I still don't like it. No, well, most a lot of people don't. And it's good. It's good if you don't like beer because beer is very destructive. It's really hard on your brain. It's hard on your health. And you certainly don't want to drink brain. You don't want to drink any alcohol, beer, or anything like that when you're still growing because it can really mess you up. It's not a good idea. Ever. It's very bad for you. Yes. The beer. I I sometimes I get. Hold on, hold on, Gabby. Hold on, Gabby. One at a time. Benicia, you first, then Gabby. Sometimes when I buy drinks, uh, my mom buys buys lemon tea for me, and one of them buys um like beer, and then I and then the cup is the same. So I didn't know which one, so I just picked. <laughs> one of them and then when i drink it it was beer and then it tastes so horrible yeah. feels like there's ants in my in my tongue yeah ah. it's not very good tasting sometimes especially if it's warm Ugh, terrible i did that once too water bottles in vietnam they have a rice wine which is like moonshine whiskey it's really strong and it was in the fridge in a water bottle but it's white it's see-through and i thought it was a my bo- water water bottle and I'm walking down the street and I open up my water and I take a big, big drink. And it's like, <laughs> because it was like raw whiskey. Oh, it was horrible. What was your story, Gabby? I was at a Coco Yummy and I was holding my dad's beer 
then I accidentally drank a little bit. That's drank- horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I don't know how people get hooked on drinking beer because it's usually with the first time you drink it, it's really terrible. <laughs> yeah. And One even now, I, I drink beer sometimes, and uh, but I, I still the first the first drink I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'll never ever I drink beer I ever don't again. Like it too. Yeah, but well, I already get mixed up three it. times. Stay away <laughs> from the alcohol. It's not good for your brains. It burns your brain yeah. cells. It's I very unhealthy. Burnt. I, I don't know. I just say burnt. Burnt. I, I don't know. Oh my god. I'm All gonna right, win. Another easy I'm one. Win for sure. What Look at them. Easy. Not only do they have the same t-shirts, oh. Emmanuel and Rafael, they have the same pants too. <laughs> oh my huh? god. They do it on purpose. That's it. I can't see. I only see beer. <laughs> no beer. No beer for any of you. Potatoes. Potatoes. Black potatoes. I didn't say that. Egg. Um, Donuts. They're not donuts. Bread. They're bread. They're bread. They're little breads. Bread. But what do we call these little breads? What, Gabby? Uh, rotten bread. What do we call these little small little breads that we have with our dinners? Hmm. Souffle? I know. Souffle? No. <laughs> no. Bread cake. <laughs> bread cake? <laughs> bread cake. <laughs> Right. Uh, they, kind of, no they look. They look like what you're sitting on. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting on a sofa. Yeah. I'm sitting. No, the on party, the party. The part of your body. The part of your body. Butt. Yes. <laughs> butt cake. Butt cake. Close. Hello. Cake. Butt. Hello. Cake. What's another Hello. word for butt? <laughs> <laughs> Black pillow. Black cake. Start to the B. I don't know. I know. <laughs> Your your crate is. Is it on the book? No. No. Okay, I'm gonna search in the book. Buns. Bread Rosalind. buns. They're Rosalind. just called little buns, bread buns. Gabby's trying to laser beam us. <laughs> laser beam. Ah, that's not the camera. <laughs> that's the camera. There <laughs> you go. Bread buns, and uh, we don't call them bun. Well, we do. We do. I shouldn't bun, say bun, that. Bun, bun. But I, I think my mom used to call them dinner rolls. That's another word for them too, dinner rolls. And that's what they are: small little baked breads. Because what my grandma and my mom used to do is they would, they would make up the dough that we make bread, and then they would put little balls in in the pan on on a baking sheet. And then they'd throw it in the oven for an hour or something before we had dinner. And then when dinner was ready, they'd pull out the fresh bed and we had all this nice hot bread and the butter would melt in it. It was just so delicious. I, I miss my, my, Sorry. my home cooking. Sorry, Trevor, I was out. That's okay. I saw that because you came back. Yeah, because it was freezing. So you, you can't come back if you're not here. If you're already here. <laughs> kind of a kind of a rule of thumb. Holy macaroni! Look at what we got here. We got another bread bun called Wutenle. Hello, bread bun. What? Where's the last one? David, no, there's no last one. Right there. What do you call these? Uh, soda. soda. Not the pop. The machine. Uh, uh. Well, uh, soda. No. Drink. No. Drinker. No. Nope. Uh, water. That's a water what? That's a pop water what? fountain. Fountain. It's a pop fountain. So I it's did. actually a fountain drink is your Coca-Cola, Dr. Peppers. Do they have root beer? Did I get it or not? No root beer. Yeah, you said fountain, so that's good. Yes! Dr. Pepper. Yep. Venetia is the first one. Yeah, but there's eight more to go. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> So, let me explain. They call them fountain drinks because they come out of like like that's a like when I was a kid there was water fountains in all the parks. Uh, we didn't have to buy water bottles; we could just drink everywhere where I grew up. 
but the water is fresh like in canada you know the water well, we didn't live in a big city so you can drink water and we had our own wells in our houses and it was really wonderful we'd have beautiful mineral packed fresh water and it's always cold because it comes from deep underground Ew. Uh, and it was really really good water and uh but even even in the cities and the parks, we had water fountains. Even all the schools had water fountains like this. And the water was no, it was it was healthy to drink. It wasn't a problem where I grew up anyway. Um, but of course, that's different everywhere. But that's why they, this is like a free flow, right? You just take your 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 cup from the, the McDonald's or wherever you are, and you and and this pop is in big big canisters. So instead of buying them in the cans or something, they just call this fountain pop, fountain coke, fountain sprite, and it's much cheaper. So restaurants like using this because they can buy it in bigger bulk and uh, they can fill it with more ice. So they make a lot more money on it. I'm in in the bottle. You're you're in a bottle now. I see that you're in a bottle, or you're putting us in a bottle. Which one is it? I'm in a bottle. <laughs> you're in a bottle, just like a message in a bottle. No. Nope. <laughs> it's like a people in the bottom. Oh my god. All right. Yes. So now I'm gonna flip you guys over to the woman in blue. Or no, she's a zebra today. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip you over to the zebra. And I'll see you guys after the break. Yes. And I'll see you guys after the break. Oh, keep small class. Okay, so we just go straight to our sentence challenge. Yeah. yeah. A lot of food, a lot of kinds of food today. So, so easy to make sentences. Glory is going number one. Glory. Okay, you do number one. Fried chicken man with the potatoes is going number two. Jason, number two. Dudley? Miss Lady. Dudley's going Miss number Island. three. Yes. Okay, yes. Just say excuse me. Don't have to tell anybody where you're going. <laughs> okay. Dudley, number three. Excuse me. You're back. Number three, Dudley. And then it's going to be Gabby. He's gone. It's going to be it's going to be Alien, number and four, Venice, yeah. and Venetia, number five. That's right. But Jason also got some points, right? No. Jason, Jason got and Gabby, repair. No. Jason got repair, right? Oh, he pr prepared for Gabby. Probably no, it, we, I think it, it, it turned out that it was Gabby that got it. Okay. Just, All right. So, Glory. Omelette. And here today, you Ooh, have yeah. a, lots of French food. This also make it easier. Look at this. We have an English <laughs> definition. A dish made by mixing eggs together and frying them. And you still remember the video we sent? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a dish. For your example, with omelet. I can cook omelet. You can cook omelet. My mom can cook omelet. Okay. Oh, sure. Of course. My mom All right. can cook omelets. More than one omelet. 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 Yeah. yeah. Jason, Good. number two. Wow. What is it? Furi. Furi, one kind of bread in India. Yeah, fried bread. Furi is tasty. <laughs> Did you try? Mm. Or you just imagine? Yes. Based on the definition, just imagine. Yeah, I guess properly. Dudley, number three, sausage. 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 It's like did. I D. I D sound. Sausage. 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 Good. You think sausages are very good? Yeah. Some, yes. That's the thing. Tasty, but. Okay, don't eat too much. Um, alien number four. Pajala? Pajala? For what? Hey, hey, Pajala. Pajala? Uh, pa what was it? Paella. 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 Yeah, it's like a, a, the J is the, the, the yeah, yeah sound, right? Paella. Paella. Yeah, Paella. Paella. Yala is Spanish. We already moved from India to Spain. Spain. So alien. I. 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 
I ate <laughs> I ate yes. paella for lunch. Okay. Lunch or breakfast, I know. But breakfast, breakfast. Glory, lunch your glory, your fan just on the mic, so it make the noise like a storm. All right, so Benicia, you here? Number yeah. five, prepare. Okay. My mom is preparing a recipe for for dinner. <laughs> recipe? My mom is preparing preparing for dinner. Recipe. Yeah. Why? Why would your mom prepare for a recipe for dinner? You want to eat it. You don't want to write it out. <laughs> so just well, have to write it. Dinner. I'll remember it. Oh, yeah. Billy already watched it yesterday. My mom is using a recipe to oh. prepare dinner. Yeah, I'll just say that my mom is preparing uh, dinner. <laughs> okay. The recipe is uh, just the, the, the theory, uh, the way, right, to cook. It's just the, All right. uh, it's yeah. just the ingredients. Yes. Back to glory number six. Corn pancake. <laughs> Raper. Raper. So this is from where? Arepa. Arepa. Arepa, yeah. Colombia, I think. Colombia. So we bread. already moved to Colombia from Spain, from U Europe oh. to the F former Spanish colony. So, what's your example with number six, Delari? Another dish. No, that's a bread. Uh, Do you want to try Arepa? Yes. So how can you say that? I really, really want to try Arepa. Yeah, Arepa, when I go to Mexico. Arepa. Mexico? No, Colombia, you said. All right. A lot of dishes today. We travel around the world with the, the, the types of food. Um, next is for Jason. Uh, Number seven. I'm not, I'm not a horrible person. <laughs> I'm not a horrible person. Just a little bit bad, not horrible. <laughs> okay, we're talking about food. Just an example. Dudley, number eight. Imagine. Um, imagine. Imagine. Imagine to the future. I will do a lot of I will I do a lot of in the I imagine uh, in, the, in future, the future I will do a will be a doctor. Yeah. Ah, I will be a doctor. So I imagine I will be a doctor in the future. All right. Uh back to alien number nine. Bagel. Another type bread. <laughs> bagel. Brown bread. Yeah. Bagel. It's mm. like it's donut. from where? <laughs> Columbia. And now we go where? No, it's just the name. Bagel. What's your example with this, Alien? Bagel. It's like donut. <laughs> look right yeah look, look like really that. alike look really alike yeah. all right um uh, number 10 caramel caramel um, and my my friend host a party my friend invited me in a party that has a caramel fountain okay mm -hmm. Like the next one here, back to glory already, abundant. You see here, available in large quantities, or it means plentiful. So abundant. What is abundant? What, what do you have more than enough, uh, glory? Uh, what is abundant? What is abundant? More than enough, yeah, or plentiful. That's the meaning. Is rice is rice um, abundant in Indonesia? Glory. Rice. You also eat rice there, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Is it abundant? Uh, is, is it abundant? Like a lot, right? More than enough. You can. Huh? If you have rice fields there and you produce rice, so maybe rice is abundant in Indonesia. Yeah. Okay. Pardon? You don't know what is abundant? <laughs> no. Yeah. Maybe not gas now, but I think maybe rice because the farmers can produce rice there. So maybe rice is abundant. Or maybe we just make, an ex uh, make a question, right? Is rice abundant here? It's an example, just an example, okay? Uh, Jason, number 12. Mexican. When I see a burrito, it makes me hungry. It's a bit noisy from Glory. So can you say it again, Jason? What about when burrito? I see, when I see a burrito, it makes me hungry. <laughs> Where is the burrito? Makes me hungry. All right. Um, Dudley, we move to the next page here. Food, 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 food. Are there more? More. <laughs> Dudley, muffin. Um, the muffin is very sweet. Sweet? Very sweet. The muffin is very sweet. Okay. Uh, alien, number 14, food stand or food stall? Uh, I buy a hamburger from the food stand. Yeah, from the, from her, okay. 15 here is for Benicia. Baguette, baguette, French bread. Mm. When I go to French, I saw a lot of people eating a baguette. Okay. When I went to France, I saw a lot of people eating baguettes. Mm -hmm. um, back to glory number 16, pretzel. Um, pretzel. I really want to try pretzel. <laughs> you don't want to try pretzels? Why? I really, I really want to try pretzel. I only want to try pretzels. Yeah, I really okay. want to try this one. This one, yeah, salty. Yeah. Actually, I ate this in in Czech. I didn't like it the much, but um, back to Jason number seventeen. Dora kebab. Dora kebab. It's turkey. Dora kebab. Yeah, Dora kebab. Another dish with lamb. I want to try some donut kebab. Mm, sure. Next one. Ooh. Dudley, what did you think about 18? Uh, the children can drink a beer. Mm. Mustn't. Mustn't. Right? Mustn't. <laughs> Shouldn't. Okay. Um, alien number 19. Buns. I'll buy, I'll buy uh, buns. Uh, oh, bun. I buy, I buy buns. Buns, I buy buns. I buy buns for 10 Vietnam dong. Uh -huh. Okay, so that mean like you usually do it and it's about 10 uh, Vietnam dong or 10,000 Vietnam dong. Benicia, the last one here, fountain um, drink. Pink. Yeah. Mm. Um, have you ever tried or are there fountain yeah. drinks there? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Mm. When I go to a, uh, um, when I go to a um, restaurant, sometimes I can see um, lots of fountain drinks that I can pick. Ah, sure. All right. So this is like the options there. Um, yeah, it can be here. We say that it can be public place or just like a, actually when like a, we Lights. show in the video, it can be in 
in restaurant. So tired. Um, okay, so that is it. And take a short break. After that, we get back to the reading with Mr. Trevor. And we will get more information about if we can make the glass. No, 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 no. We cannot. Sorry. Because Jason. So that's the theory. That's the way we will try it, Benicia. Because okay. you will do the reading first. And then you can leave a little bit earlier. Um, all right. So that is it for sentence challenge. Take a short break. All right, bye bye. Bye, Miss Lee. Bye. 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 bye.